Hey guys, today I'm gonna to go over a collection I got for $10 at a flea market. In Texas, we have a lot of flea markets. And typically I go for video games, but sometimes you can also pick up magic cards. I'll also talk about booster packs and two different decks I have. I have a modern deck tech for you, as well as a standard one, which is gonna be great. And it's what I'm gonna play at Friday Night Magic. So it does have new cards. I was able to pick up. I This came with the collection and I felt like there was some pretty cool ones. Like uh, this one's from Wizards of the Coast. I don't know what card that is. Street Weight Wraith, I believe. This one is some type of angel. Don't know what this is, but it looks pretty cool. This is a Kifkin. This is a Black Guard or something. It's a fairy that gives other fairies plus one plus one, I believe. This one's kind of cool. And Wolf Briar Shaman. So that came with the collection. The flea market is located in Houston. There's actually one near the one that I go to is called Estelella or something. And it's next to the Fiesta and off 59. So Fiesta is where I buy most of my food. <laughs> Fiesta, by the way, is like a Mexican grocery store, but the seafood is excelente. <laughs> anyway, I yeah, you know, it's amazing uh, how diverse Houston is and it's like definitely a great city to visit and to live in. So some Kifkin, Shard Volley, Unmake. Again, I had no idea this card was worth money until recently. Now I have like, I'm gonna say 10 or 12 copies of it. Mana Leak, Foil. These are very pretty lands from Lorwyn. Uh, sprite, Hardbringers, Hardbringers, uh, Sprite, Sprite, Grixis Command, Long Forgotten Go High, and we're gonna see a. What happened was I found these pre release decks, or not pre release de decks, these structured decks, and one of them, I'm not kidding you, so this is all from like different structured decks, had a top. I had no idea that one of these pre-con decks, structured decks, had a top. As you can see, it's this one. It had one Sensei's Divining Top, I found. So I got all of this for $10. Uh, it was a very good deal. I didn't realize what was in it until later because this top makes it worth, it, it's fantastic, right? It's $10 by itself. Now this card is very interesting for Aldrazi because now it produces one colorless mana. Now you can view that as a positive over something like uh, the mana producer that makes one green. I need to go a little faster because there are definitely good cards. Hail arrows. What I realized was these old school cards have a tremendous amount of value uh, and they do trade extremely well in this format called Popper. I don't play Popper that much, but I believe I'm going to play. I don't know if this is uncommon or common. It's really hard to tell from this particular set, but it's very good. Another Harbinger. Anytime you have a tutor ability, I feel like that's good. I'm gonna go a little fast. Reign of Tears. Uh, so more Harbingers. Just the uh, the Sensei's top by itself. I didn't know it was in this collection, but my friend at the flea market. He collects magic cards. He doesn't really know the value. Big Game Hunter is worth some money, which I didn't know. And I think he got this from someone for like two bucks and he didn't really know what was in it. But $10, definitely a great deal. I'm gonna show you some more stuff. This was the same lot for $10. Blighted Agents. You just had random cards. Like this is not even uncommon. It's a rare, but it came from Coach Snap, so it's kind of hard to make out. Journey to Nowhere is randomly a dollar or two. And Raven Crime, Cabal, Japanese Gatekeeper, another re Molten Rain is worth some money. Other Shard vol Volleys, more of these random lands. Love this card. Reminds me a lot of Gisela, the way it looks, but that's just me. Is it Charm? Okay, Dash Hope is worth some money. I remember this card was such a joke. I used to make fun of it so much, but now it's worth some money. I guess people play in Popper, and there's a plenty of Dash Hopes. I found another Narwhale, which is great. Resurrection, the Rack, 
I believe these are unlimited counter blast coiling oracles, guild mage, another delay, and a whole bunch of dash hopes in a tree of tails. So I got that for ten dollars, and then obviously there was some tax and stuff. It was really good. I have a great good time in the flea market. I also help my friend sell some stuff and definitely buy in some stuff. So yeah, it's good experience. I had a you know this was an incredible deal. Like I typically don't make out this well on flea market deals. Like I try to always break even, but this one was just insane because the top. So I did not know there was a sensei's dividing top in this particular batch because I just buy them. I was just like, okay, cool, buy them. And when I went home and I found there was one, I was like, wow, it's a ton of value. It's maybe, I would estimate $50, $60 of value I got for $10. So probably even better than buy list. Definitely if I buy listed the top alone, it would cover most of this collection and I just could keep the rest. Some of this could be valuable. And when I purchased it, I was actually just buying these. I didn't even look at the cards that they came with. Anyways, bye guys.